Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to upgrade a 2010 MacBook Pro to 8GB of RAM and remove the original hard disk drive and upgrade it to a solid state drive. This should bring some extra life back into this Mac. First thing you're going to do is remove all of the screws on the bottom cover. Keep these in line because some of them are slightly different. Once you have the back cover off, first thing you're going to do is disconnect the battery. Once you have that done, you can remove the retaining bracket for the hard disk drive. Disconnect the SATA cable. And now remove the studs on the hard side of the hard drive. These will be reused for the SSD. I'm going to also use, reuse the pull tab to make the extraction easier in the future. Now put all the studs that you removed from the hard drive into the SSD. Attach the SATA cable, reinsert the bottom studs into the bracket. Reattach the retaining bracket. Now we'll swap out the RAM. It currently has two 2 GB sticks for a total of four. We're going to replace this with two 4 GB sticks for a total of eight gigabytes of RAM. We'll reconnect the battery. Now we'll replace the bottom cover along with all of its screws. Now we'll power it on while holding down the option key with the macOS High Sierra USB install disk inserted. We'll select that install disk and take a few minutes to boot into the install menus. Now that it's booted in, we'll go into Disk Utility. We'll select the new drive we just inserted. We're going to erase it and format it. 
name this one Macintosh SSD. Now we'll go through the macOS setup process and allow it to install. Once it installs and reboots, we'll go through the setup here, select our network. We're going to skip past all of this. Now that we're booted in, we'll pull up About This Mac, and we will see that it is now 8 gigabytes of RAM and has the 120 gigabyte SSD. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and watch for future videos.